Here we are at the racetrack. Start the video off with climbing through the hatch of a Corvette. Here you go. Oh, I mean, it's, it's already recording. Oh, okay. Shit. Your dumbass climbing in here. Oh, I got a hot mic. It's already recording. Oh. Yeah, I'm, flipping, I'm flipping that. There we go. I got it. We got Bryce. He's the smallest dude here. And I trust him with my car, so. You can stand on here, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, just head first, buddy. Just dive in. In there like swimwear, baby. Holy crap. crap! That was fun. Oh. Man, it'd be nice to be in the bed, huh? Shit. Well, while I'm hanging out here in the bed, this thing is dope. I've been talking about getting myself a drag car, and this specific car is for sale. It is a four. 27 board out to a 447 I think excuse my I don't know my LS stuff I think all motor it makes 660 and then on the 300 shot it makes like 7 or 930 something something crazy I don't know it's got nitrous all hooked up all that he's gonna do some all motor passes today and maybe a uh, run on a hundred shot he said but the car is for sale and I'd really like to buy it it is a manual car it's a Z06 it is dope it's blue. You hear that rumble? Oh my God, it's so nice. This is what I need in my life. No time. This car gets a nine second pass.
beautiful day in Texas. Hey girl. My friend Renee's Golf R. Ah, it's wrapped. It's a 2019. The thing is so dope. Got the digital dash and everything. It's wrapped. It's such a beautiful color. It looks so different in the dark too. I love it. I need some tint. I'll be fish bowling over here. You can see right through that car. Show time shots, huh? do one of probably only two runs today it's getting late it's 8 30 and the line takes about 45 minutes to get up there um, I was waiting until it gets cooler out because the DA is just terrible last I checked about an hour ago it was at like 6500 so it's starting to cool off so it should be lower than that now I got like e25 in the tank which is just some ethanol splash on top of the tune or on top of the 91 the 91 tune we got 32 Damn, PSI peak, and it falls off at the end a little bit. Um, yeah, so hopefully transmission lets me in gear, and I can get an 11 second pass on paper instead of the draggy, which would be dope. The draggy run, I don't know if we talked about it earlier, it's 11.99 at 119 on the brakes. There's a stop sign coming up, so hoping to beat that. I'd like to see 11.89 at 120. Oh, my friend! Woo!
I forgot to turn the GoPro on guys, I apologize, but uh, Michael got video from the front, the car launched great, every gear went, I accidentally no lift shifted one or two even though I'm not supposed to, but uh, I'm going to get right back in line, but that felt good, I have no idea what the time is, I'm coming up to the timer, to the slip box now, hopefully it was good, it felt pretty decent. That was awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was badass, man. 1207, so close. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey. And look at him come over here. Ah, it looks so good. Yeah. I know I can do better. How did, how did that launch feel? Tell us, tell us, tell us, give us a breakdown. Uh, what happened at the like, beginning there? Was it like 5,500 launch? At like six pounds, not too bad. I was, I, I was nervous. I, I'm so used to like dumping the clutch on the street just because I can. So I forgot. I kind of like slipped it a little bit. I know I can get that 60 down a little bit better. I was a 175 though. Like that's not. That's better than the Evos. On the street, the best I can get is like a 182. So. And then I short shifted in the third in fear of it locking not, me out. Yeah, not getting in the third. Yeah, but I mean 120729. So this next pass will be in 11. Hell so, yeah. And that's 115. So. I'm going to slam here. I mean, I did everything right. The car just didn't like it. I don't know. It was a 12.4 at 115. It was slower than my first pass. It was cooler in the day. Not okay. So, got back in line. It'll be the third and final run of the night. Hopefully, it's an 11. I want it on paper, not a screenshot through Draggy. So, I know I can do it. So, I don't know what's going on. And we're going to get it. versus Bryce.
some of my homies in line. One in the RS, one in the 135. Here to the end, you're the real MVP. Um, it was a great, great night out. Um, it was just awesome having all my friends together. Uh, first TNT of the season there in Amarillo. Really made me happy. I missed Michael's last pass. I think it was like 10-6 at 130-something. He's in the Evo, the orange Evo, which is like what I'm trying to get my car to. I want my car on that level. Um, well, speaking of my car, my best run there that night was a 12.07 at 115, which isn't all that great. I'm just happy that my trans didn't explode and it's actually letting me in third gear. If you guys have been following the channel the last couple of weeks, I've been dealing with trans issues galore. Um, just wouldn't let me in third and sometimes it wouldn't let me in fourth. It'd just be like hitting a wall and it wouldn't let me in until the RPMs dropped. So I wound up doing another shifter alignment and putting OEM fluid in and um, changed things dramatically. So after that first pass, I started making changes with the tune and trying different things, which I just, I should just stuck to the what I did in the first batch and just made it better and just but I was just trying different things just trying to make that 11 um but it didn't happen so we'll go we'll go back again and make it but I'm just glad we had a good good testing tune it was a really good night weather was great once it hit like six o'clock um we all got a tons of ton of runs in um sucks we did have a, a buddy of mine 
did potentially break a gear in his car and then another buddy thought he broke his trans as well it was just a relay and another buddy ran into some issues with his map sensors i think so some people had some problems some other people didn't but overall i mean some of the guys that came with us like that was only like their second time at the drag strip ever or the first for some of them and it was just nice being able to talk to them and help them out and just seeing the small you know when they come back through with the time we're just like freaking yeah yeah i got this and i got that and just it was great. It was just a great overall time. I love nights like this. And we all went out to eat afterwards and sat in our trunks or hatches, you know, whatever, and, and bullshitted and then had a couple couple races down the street too. So overall, great night, great weekend. Um, I know my car's slow. You, know, you gotta tell me in the comments. It's a manual car. You guys saw the DA, DA it was almost 7,000. That's on 91 octane. Um, anyway, questions, comments, concerns, throw them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.